AT10 Plus. This video will show the basic functions of the AT10 Plus. To switch the unit on, press the on off key. To replace a paper, press the replace paper key to open the tray. Place a new paper pack into the tray with the printed side facing upwards and the black paper mark to the top of the unit. Press the replace paper key once again to return the paper tray to its original position and press the stop key to transfer the paper to the starting position. To perform an auto recording of a resting ECG, enter the patient data and press the auto start key. After approximately 10 seconds, the recording is analyzed and the result is displayed on the screen. To edit the interpretation, press the ECG key followed by interpretation. To obtain a copy in format 1, press the copy 1 key. To obtain a copy in format 2, press the function key followed by the copy key. To store the recording manually, press the store data key. And to transmit the recording manually, press the send data key. To perform a manual ECG recording, press the manual start key. And when finished, press the stop key. In order to change the printout lead group during the manual printout, use keys 2 and 3. To change the speed, use keys 4 through 7. To change the amplitude, use keys 8 and forward. To modify what is seen on the screen, the following keys are used. The monitor channel key changes the number of leads displayed on the screen. The monitor lead key displays the next lead group. The monitor millimeters per second key adjusts the display speed, and the monitor millimeters per millivolt key adjusts the display sensitivity. The calibration key is used to rest the ECG signal to baseline and to insert the calibration signal on the screen or on the printouts. To perform a recording of an exercise ECG, first enter the patient data and carry out a resting ECG. Then to find the exercise settings, heart rate, alarm, ST segment measurement, etc. Select the ergo device being used and select the exercise protocol using the protocol key. If necessary, take a blood pressure measurement with the NIBP key. Warn the patient that the test is about to begin and press the begin key. While the test is taking place, you can control it with the following keys. The enlarged lead is changed during the test with the up and down arrow keys. The measuring point is changed during the test with the left right arrow keys. To enter the patient's symptoms during the test, press the symptoms key. To print a rhythm strip, press rhythm strip. During the exercise test, we can control the ergometer. To increase the inclination of the treadmill, press E. To reduce the inclination, press X. To increase the speed of the treadmill or to increase the load on the bicycle, press D. And to reduce the speed or the load, press S. To enter the recovery stage, press the end key. The symptom screen is then displayed. Press print report to obtain a printout of the test and press the print rhythm key to obtain a printout of the rhythm lead over the entire recording. Press end or escape to exit. A confirmation message will appear asking if you would like to terminate the stress test. Once the stress test has been terminated, the data will not be kept in memory of the device. To perform a rhythm recording, press the ECG key and select rhythm recording. For signal averaging recording, press the SA ECG key. And for a heart rate variability recording, press the HRV key. The spiral key is to enter the spirometry program. The spirometry function is available when the sensor is plugged into the RS-232 connector on the right-hand side of the unit. Three pulmonary function testing modes are available for the measurement of inspiratory and expiratory values as follows. Forced vital capacity, slow vital capacity, and maximum voluntary ventilation. Measurements are made with one of the two open pneumotax sensors, the SP250 or the SP260. Remember the device must be calibrated before the first pulmonary function test of the day. Once the unit has been calibrated, set the spiral settings and the norm values through the spiral settings screen. Enter the patient data and select the test that will be performed. All test procedures are carried out in the same manner. Press the start key and once the test is finished, press the stop key. Once the stop key is pressed, the curve of the last test is taken is shown on the screen along with the measurement results. It is recommended that a minimum of three measurements are taken. Press the store data key to store the recording for future viewing or to take a post recording. To take a post measurement, enter the spiral screen by pressing the spiral key. Select post recording and select the test you wish to perform. Press the start key to begin the test. The measurement table is displayed with the results icon. Two different printout formats can be obtained. For format one, press the copy one key. For format two, press the function key followed by the copy one key. To manually store the information throughout any recording, press store data. 
To access the memory, press the memory.